Hi, I'm Angie. I'm Phil. I'm Maggie. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. Now. Just ask me. What are ask you looking for? you. I don't want to ask you. I'll tell you exactly where it is. I didn't throw anything out or anything. I've just made neater piles. I didn't want neater piles. I like my piles just the way they were. I'm sorry. There I was didn't... a method to my madness, young lady, which has served me very well all my life. Thank you very I'm much. I'm really, really sorry. I was only trying. I'll put mm. everything no, back. No, just in. please leave it alone. Tonight we saw Collected Stories by Donald Margulis. The play is set in the apartment of Ruth Steiner in the 1990s, and Ruth Steiner is this accomplished writer. She's older now, and she's past her prime, but now she teaches on the side to get herself out of the house, as she says. She takes under her wing Lisa Morrison, who is an aspiring author. She does short stories, collected short stories. The professor was a little caustic, a little sarcastic in her humor. The young girl was she admired the teacher, she admired the professor, but she was a little afraid of her. After a while, the girl became a friend of, of the, of the uh, professor, and they got very personal in their stories. They, they really cared for each other. They, they built up a friendship. And as the play goes on, Lisa grows up, and not only does she become less self-conscious, she also gives herself a name in the writing world. The story is about the, the change in their relationship. I guess it's sort of an all about Eve kind of thing in the literary world. Linda Lavin played Ruth Steiner, a uh, terrific actress. I was very impressed by her acting. It was quite riveting. I was very, very interested in seeing her style. And she has eyes that could launch a thousand ships. She, that lady, really can act. She is a powerful actress because she has so much bubbling under her. She has all these barriers coming up, but you see it anyway. She gives you the little hints, and she shows you that there's a lot more to this woman, and we should be concerned for her, just as Lisa comes to realize. She, she delivered the emotion. She became an old lady on the stage. From a nice middle-aged woman to an older person to a real old lady. And you could, you could believe it. I wasn't even sure if it was the same person on the stage. It was that good. Lisa Morrison, the student, is played by Sarah Paulson. She starts the show very wooden, and I was a little worried about where her performance was going to go. But I thought she did a very good job, especially at the end. Both actors had a transformation from uh, original character to, uh, to something more deeper, more personal, more uh, realistic, too. I didn't think her chops were quite up to Linda Lavin. Linda Lavin owns that stage. Miss Paulson, I thought, was adequate. She's very pretty. I didn't think she held up her end of the bargain. I enjoyed the play a lot. I mean, it's a beautiful set, it's beautiful to look at, and these two actresses, you would think with just two actresses, how interesting can you get, it's only two characters, but they form such a strong relationship and you're rooting for them. You kind of see where it's going sometimes, but they make the ride so enjoyable and they make it so heartwarming that you love it anyway. You don't get bored with the words. I did get a little bored with the delivery sometimes, you know. The messenger was not all that I wanted it to be, but I did not get bored with the words. This is a play I would really like to perhaps read more than see. It was a little slow at the beginning. I, I wasn't exactly bored. I just didn't know where is this going? I mean, is this a story about two women who talk all the time and tell jokes? You know, a little more than that. But uh, as it progressed, ah, ah, that's what they're getting to. That's what, and I, I, now I know why the talking started. But as we progressed, I liked it more and more. As I'm walking out, that was good. It didn't steal my heart. Earlier this year, I did see Time Stand Still by the same playwright, and I loved that. I thought he did a wonderful job. This was not, in my opinion, this was not up to that level of craftsmanship. But he's still interesting to listen to. I think everyone should go see it because you can relate to both the woman and it makes you think about things in your own life because their problems are very typical. It's a modern story and I think most anyone who sees it will really enjoy it and they'll really be blown away by the two actresses they see. I don't think I would recommend this unless you are a die-hard Linda Lavin fan and you just want to see her at work and she is an artist at work and it's worth seeing her 
for that. But the property in general, mm -mm, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, I, I would I would recommend it, but I'll tell you, <laughs> get to the first chapter because it's a little slow. Just wait, just wait, more's coming. You know what it is. I'm jealous that you have all of life ahead of you. I can't just sit back and watch you do the dance I danced so long ago and not think about time. And that's what it is, don't you see? Time. <sighs>